have another one of those topics of things that seem to happen in clusters. Questions I get asked by different people that have the same kind of basis. So this particular point is, how do I, uh, this is now the person asking the question, how do I start with doing videos, with recording myself, doing vlogs, because I know I want to do it. I can see that it can support me, but it also has the potential to support other people. Um, making vlogs or writing blogs and things is very much a part of the destiny culture. Uh, so a lot of people go through this experience of where do I start? How do I start with making a video? Because as opposed to writing or speaking, it's your face that you're putting out there. It's much more personal. It's much more, it almost feels more vulnerable. And I went through exactly the same thing. I, for a long time, told myself, I don't need to make videos. I don't need to put my face all over the internet and, and, and talk to a, a camera. No, I, I'll just carry on with the, with the writing and I mean, she also did some podcasts. I'll just, I'll just carry on with this stuff. And, and this is enough for me. This is as far as I need to go. Um, so uh, I'm naturally a rather shy, introverted person. I don't... It, it, it took a lot of practice for me to get to this point where I'm at now. So... Um, the best advice that I can give in the beginning, don't try and plan topics. Don't try and choose a direction of what you want to eventually one day do with your videos. Just do a video, even if it's a minute long. If you go to my personal profile on Facebook and you scroll way back to the first videos I was doing, I was just blabbering on about nothing. I talked about how I was nervous to do a video or how I didn't know what to do a video about that day. Because I challenged myself at that point in time to do a video every day for, I think it was 21 days or something like that. The reason that I decided to do that challenge was because I resisted it so much. I recognized that I didn't want to do it, that I resisted doing it. And eventually I came to a point where I faced myself and I said, look, just because I resist it means that I have to do it. Just, just to push through that resistance, just to show myself that... I am not powerless to this experience of a resistance. I can determine what I'm going to do. So my first videos were just blabbering, yammering, frivolous nothings. And most of them were quite short. The more confidence I got, and yes, I did also have a friend who helped me with my presentation, with um, how I formulated topics, how I, how, how I presented myself, uh, which was for me a great help. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, content available on, on how to make better videos once you get to that point uh, on the internet. But I started getting more comfortable and more confident. And I s switched from talking about superficial things to more sharing about a particular point that I've been experiencing or a particular realization I had in that day. So that eventually, initially with Joe, evolved into this Get Real channel and now where I'm still doing regular videos um, I'm still pushing myself to do better, to do more, uh, to expand my horizons in terms of the topics I do and how I express myself. But when I started off, this was not the vision I had. The vision I had was, let me just get through 21 days of doing a video every day, even if it's just a one minute video every day. And that's where I started. And 
I just did it. And through that, I created where I am now, which is a process that has taken years. But for those who are starting off, who are wanting to start off, just do it. Like, seriously. Uh, doesn't matter what you talk about. Doesn't matter who watches your video. Doesn't matter if you only get five views. It's not about who's watching in that beginning phase. It's about just getting yourself comfortable enough to express on that platform. And then if you decide to continue doing it, well, then, okay, cool. You know, you can learn how to do it better. Um, maybe you can eventually turn that into something, a project, uh, something where you can earn some money, something where you can really reach a lot of people. You won't know until you try. So, uh, I think that's about, that about covers it. It's, it really is that simple. But if you have any particular challenges you've been facing, let me know. I can do another video for you. Otherwise, remember that you can participate in the comments section, or you can send me a direct message, or you can do a video and share your own experiences of how you overcame that initial resistance to doing a video. Thank you very much for watching, and you're going to see me next time.